Hi, Sam Tobert from Sound of Joy Music Services. And this is another continuation of, of our How to Play Gospel Piano series. I'm going to teach you a concept which I developed in my years as playing in, in training to become better comfortable playing gospel music. It is playing scale and chords in conjunction, finding the notes around a scale that could help give me more color tones for playing the scale. Here we go. So the C major scale, started with middle C, and back. Now everyone learns to play this if you, when you go to an actual music teacher or a mentor. They'll always have you practice a scale. I needed to develop a way to associate chords within that scale. So a C major chord, this is the uh, first inversion from here. And then I would go, now you say this is a this is a G chord, but it's supporting the D note. Back to a C inversion chord, but it's supporting the E note. There's your F. Now rather than go to G, I went back to C to support the G note, an F chord to support the A note, back to a G chord to support the B note, and to the top, and back down. I understand they teach you this. I understand that. And that's a good way. But I needed a, a, an alternate way to be able to associate the scale in chords for gospel sounding. So I went here. And then the fun begins. Let's now change it. Let's put a, a minor in there. Rather than the C major, put a minor there. Different change. A seventh. Now, what did I do? That stayed the same, but the chords that I selected changed. If I add a bass to it, fill it out. Now this concept helped me to, when I would hear gospel songs, I would be, well gee, that's the chords I could be playing, but I hear another note in there. Then I would have to sit to the piano, as they say, learn to play by hearing, and trying to hear what was that additional note they had in there, or if they did this. Can I hear that note in this chord? So after practicing this concept for years, I didn't just develop it overnight, this took years, and I learned it in every key, as I learned now new songs where they would put a different note in there to give a different tone, I could hear it because it's, it's part of the scale. Let me give you another concept I use. Full chords. I've just filled out practically every note that I possibly could put in this, or maybe not. Can I go? There it is. Now I've just added a whole different color tone of notes the bass going in a totally different direction, but as you can see, the melody still stayed the same, but my selection of chords changed. Now, now I'm not only, only new, using the note in the scale, but I'm using the other notes also. And this is the fun part about gospel music. You hear how a chord fits.
And that's the concept. Begin to add adjacent notes, either sharps or flats, in the in your practice of the scales. And you, I would do this. Concept, but I shorten it down. I put the notes. If you watched any of my videos, you see my hands can play almost, they can almost overlap each other because, again, to me, middle C is the, is the stop point. Who occupies it? Wherever, whatever note needs to be played, wherever the other hand is, that's the hand that gets to occupy this note. Because I've moved down to this part of the register, I now have, the right hand now has full dominance of this note. And it's all about hearing tones. What do you hear in your head? Can you hear every note of, an, of a um, chromatic scale? Can you hear them separately? Let me see. Mm -hmm. That's a chord I want. There it is. I can hear the change, find it without looking at it, and if it's wrong, I'll be close enough to be able to hit the one adjacent note that gives me that change. Now, we did this in C. I'm going to give you a couple of more examples. We're going to go to, if I can get on my chord here, I'm going to put you in the, the next note up. D flat. Now, you might say, well, D flat gets harder. It's the same concept. Do you know where the notes are? That's what you have to worry about. Do you know where the notes are? Can't reach that. Go back down. And I want to change the chord, the, the chord names. I change nothing other than the, the key I'm in same concept scale at the top now you should be able to practice right hand Comes that that gospel feel when you when you when you actually freelance and you saw my video I did on actual freestyle playing where what you practice you just like uh, you open up a, a can of soup and it's got everything in it well if it's just a can of um, you know tomato soup all you're gonna have is tomatoes if it's vegetable soup it's gonna have all these things all these things in it you pick and choose from practicing what do you want to do. Again, I can go this way. Change again. And go back a different way. Do some jazz chords in there. I had to hear it in my head first to know where to know where the notes are. A. There it is. As I say, I practice this so when I don't, when I'm looking for a note, I can hear it in my head where it should be, know what that note should be called, and go right there. Let's go to the key of D, because a lot of guys don't practice in D major. You don't know what you're missing. D major opens up a world of fingering and chords that you will find mirror 
key of G. They mirror the key of C sharp or D flat. It mirrors the key of um, D minor. No, excuse me, E minor. When you're in D. So if I'm going to do again, same thing in D. And what you should be able to do is to hear these changes so you know when you're playing it right. this up. This very same concept. Once you know where the scale is, what your root notes are, and now you can branch off. same concept back down I'll show that to you makes my hands find the note almost like I get comfortable and I think I've, I've actually said this in a video playing in D is like playing in G except for one note and you'll find some chords are common to being in G again let's take you to one or two more and then I'll stop this this session E flat E flat is what I call the preacher's key, the shop key for a lot of musicians, the um, um, for those singers that like to see that real hard gospel, which I always say it's an alto, it's an alto's key being an E flat because they have a range between the tenor and a soprano, just where an alto voice sits. So to be able to chord around this key is a musician's dream. quick song in here um in there. Covered three keys: C, D, 
D flat, E, and E flat, the same concept. With the bass, adding some sevenths, a minor, a major, a seventh, another seventh chord, and a minor chord to give a little bit of flair to it. Bring it down with a little bit of jazz. Sound music moment, it's chords, it's rather scales and chords. Thanks for watching.